as to how you can add various caching headers to your Apache installation. And let's get started. Uh, there is actually a good tutorial that is available on the web that you might also find useful. And I will add that link to my website where I have this uh, tutorial. So let's get started. I have Apache basically uh, running locally. And uh, right now it is essentially serving uh, just this, uh, an S3 header and then just an image. And you can see uh, what it is doing. The index.php just includes the old index.html file and that's where the header is and the gif is. And my HTX doesn't really have anything. And so if I look at my CSS file, which is basically where I'm going to add these response headers, uh, you can take a look here right now. Basically, it doesn't have any of these expired headers or anything at all. So I'll show you how to add the expired header here. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, what uh, I have copied some tests to add the expired header. And I'll show you how to do that. And you can do it for different file types. For example, uh, here, uh, basically, uh, I'm checking that if mod expires is enabled in Apache. I have turned on expires active on. And I say expire by type text less CSS excess plus, plus one day. And the default is excess plus zero days. And today is September the 27th. So excess plus one day would be 28. So if I just do that and refresh it and I look at the CSS, uh, you can see that it has added the expires directive here. Uh, for Monday, September 28th. So you can see the header has been added. Another uh, header that you can kind of play around, and this was based by the type textless CSS, is uh, go in and use the mod headers. And you can enable that in Apache as well. And once I enable it, basically it says that if files matches a CSS, PNG, or a GIF, I want to be able to set the cache control max age to the best is public for CDNs and browser caches and must be revalidated. If I do that and look at my CSS and you will see that it has also added the cache control max age uh, directive to that. Another way to add these headers is uh, to do it in a specific PHP file. Uh, you can just basically make a call to header and here I'm setting this cache control max age. This should override it. And if I look at my local host, you can say the cache control max age is 3400, which is what I have set. Uh, one thing you want to make sure in Apache is that you can change everything using HD access. And it's pretty easy to see. You, know, you have to make sure that everything is uh, allowed overwrite and uh, that you should be able to change that. Another thing is you can just check that the expires module is active and the headers module is active. So I've shown you how to change some of these headers using PHP or in Apache. If you want to learn more, uh, you can go to this web tutorial, which is pretty nice. And it explains some of the ways you can do these things. And I'll add that to my uh, website on Gaur Associates, uh, where I have this uh, short screencast. Thank you for watching this screencast. You have a great day.